All right, everybody, we are back. My first guest is one of the most beautiful women in the world, straight from the pages of Victoria's Secret. Please welcome Giselle Bunchen. Thank you very much. I was told you were, you look fantastic, by the way, but you hear that all the time. You're no. Just, really? But first of all, before I do anything, I have to give you a little present. Yeah, all right. You were chosen by Victoria's Secret and all of us, of course. One of the sexiest dads in America. So, oh, um, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it cute? What is this? Look at the little boxes for you. Yes, I'm yes. Are these boxers that you've owned or touched or something or in any way? Are they, are, are um, I, I touched them. I, I actually helped them put them in there, but I never wore you them. You did the framing. Time. Yeah, that's a yes. good use of Giselle's time. Yeah, that's very good. This is very I, nice. I how, how did I get this award? What qualities do I have? Um, that, uh, let's talk more about me and being sexy. Exactly. That should be the focus of the conversation. I agree. Thank because you. Because you are very sexy. Uh, what is it that makes me sexy? What I is think, it? I think sexy is something that comes from the inside, I think. And I think you are very funny. You have an amazing sense of humor. And I find that the most important thing in a man. So. Really? But take away that. I don't like the whole inner quality thing. <laughs> take away all that and just look at the man. What do you think of the man and what's sexy about the man? Um... <laughs> no, it is the hair. I know what, I know what, I know what. Uh, the hair. The hair, the hair. Ah. How long does it take to do this amazing head? I can't hear anything you're saying when you do that. <laughs> I don't think you know this. We actually kind of met once. Once about, I'm going to say it's about a year and a half ago, I was doing business in L.A., mm -hmm. and I was with our head writer, and we got on the plane to come back, and it was one of those nighttime flights that goes you know, yes, through the night, the I red eye. Them. And um, I'm sitting there, and it's the kind of seat that you sit in where you can put it back all the way, and it pretty much turns into a bed. And there was a seat next to me, and it was empty, and we were waiting for people to get on the plane, and I was saying to the head writer, I don't know who this is going to be. With my luck, it's going to be <laughs> some big fat guy or something. No offense to fat guys, but... Uh, <laughs> You know, and then uh, just then, just as I said that, you walk on the plane and you sit down next to me and you put your, you said, oh, hello, how are you? And you put your seat back all the way. And I thought, this is, I couldn't believe it. The most beautiful woman in the world is going to be sleeping with me on this flight. <laughs> and what you did is you put on your headphones to listen to music and you took your blanket and put it over your head. <laughs> And went right to sleep. Yeah. And for the whole flight, if you had just taken the blanket down, you'd have seen me. <laughs> right there. Okay, yeah, right there. That's, this is what you missed out on, Giselle. Oh. For a whole six-hour flight, me going like that. Maybe I shouldn't sleep in flies then. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. So no, actually, that's what I do every time when I get on the plane. I just... That's the only time I get to sleep. You, 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 now, uh, I want to ask you about your home country, Brazil. It's the best country in the world. It's the best country in the yes, world? I, I have to say so. there's one thing. I, I don't know. I was in Brazil once when I was uh, very young, but I don't have good... I'm very pale, so they keep me under an umbrella the whole time. <laughs> um, and, but, but in Brazil, when I see all the footage, it seems like people... The women are wearing bikinis all the time. Is that... <laughs> um, and you're getting into the, uh, the acting business, I understand. You're going to be in a movie? Um, I am going to be in a movie, actually, that comes out in October. I am not an actress, though. I'm, um, I've been in my business for 10 years, so mm -hmm. to me, it was like a fun thing. They offered me the role. I was like, it, you know, it might be fun, something different right. to do. So I'm going to wait and see how it goes, if I like myself. If I, if I don't think I'm good, you know, then I won't let you, all of you go through so much pain of seeing me again on the screen. So I will give you a That's chance to watch That's very nice of you, though, one. to say that you're, so you're able to watch yourself and, 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 and think, and be critical. You're allowed to... I'm a very critical person. Right. I, especially of myself. I'm very critical with myself. So, yes, if I don't like it, then you won't have to see me again. So don't worry. You won't have to, like, <laughs> go over there and, like, oh, get out of the screen. You know, sometimes there's, like, actors who are like, oh, if my God. If only Amer more Americans thought that way, that would be a good thing. <laughs> they don't feel that way. I don't I don't have that. I'm not, I have that ability. I see myself at night and I go, he's so pretty. <laughs> Isn't he pretty? You but do that's a great me. job, though. Um, listen, I want to thank you very much for being here. Thank I also want to thank you very much for my uh, Sexy Dad Award. That was very nice of you. Oh, to bring Best of luck. Please thank come you. back. Thank Giselle Bunchen, everybody. Jesse James coming up. We'll take a break. We'll